Lesson four. There are different kinds of magnetism, many different kinds, and you have to think of developing that kind of magnetism which you need for whatever you're trying to accomplish. Four different kinds we can think of immediately. One is an animal kind of magnetism. You've seen some people who have a great deal of, uh, it's almost an overpowering uh, animal magnetism, physical kind of magnetism. There's also a sort of a hypnotic magnetism. Another kind is an inspiring, and another kind is uplifting. The animal magnetism tends to be darkening to the consciousness. It takes you away from uh, the uh, mind, from the thought processes. It takes you away from reasoning. It's the kind of magnetism that uh, people express when, well, dictators, that kind of people may be expressing a very strong animal or hypnotic magnetism. Hypnotic has another effect than animal, the animal being somewhat darkening to the intelligence, the hypnotic being somewhat weakening to the will. People fall under the influence of so-called charismatic people and surrender their wills to these people. This is harmful to the uh, integrity of the, of the person and what the leader ends up getting is just a bunch of blind sheep. Numerically, he has a following, but as far as any intelligent ability to really pitch in there and do something creative, he uh, hasn't. Inspiring is the kind of magnetism that you want to really begin with. Inspiring magnetism is that which makes people want to get in there with all their enthusiasm and willpower because it comes from inside. Inspiring magnetism is not an imposition on somebody. It's rather getting to his center and making him want to come out from that center to uh, join you in your undertaking. Inspiring magnetism is not an imposition on the other person's free will. It's an invitation. People will either accept it or reject it according to the how, the, how they feel, how they respond, but uh, uh, it, it, when they do put their will into it, they put it into it intelligently and uh, creatively. It, this is a good kind. An uplifting magnetism is even a higher kind because you can inspire people to want to get out there and, and uh, go skiing. You can inspire people to want to build a business, but an uplifting kind of magnetism is that which makes people want also to better themselves. They want to do that which will help other people. They want to do that which will expand uh, the consciousness of others as well as of themselves. The different kinds of magnetism depend to a great extent on the kinds of people with whom you mix. A core, uh, 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 apart from the different qualities, there are also different aspects. For instance, there is a kind of magnetism that is uh, artistic, another one that is business, another one that is military. There's an infinity of different kinds of magnetism. And if you want, for example, to develop an artistic magnetism, then one of the most important ways of doing that is to mix with other artists, particularly those who have artistic magnetism and not just people who are struggling. People who, through their magnetism, have become effective artists. Another example, and one that I, I offer deliberately, um, because it's something very far from my own natural tastes, and that is the field of rock and roll. I happen not to like rock and roll music. And therefore, it's all the more striking, or I should say was to me, when one time I heard somebody who I was told was Michael Jackson singing. And my impulse was to say, well, that's not my kind of music. But I was so impressed with his attunement, with what he was doing. He was so into that particular medium of expression that he was extremely magnetic. It was not a magnetism that I chose to accept. But I could feel how others who did choose to accept it would be drawn into it because he had really gotten into the core, the soul of the kind of music that he was singing. You will find that a good general, Patton would be a good example, Patton was extremely magnetic 
in his particular uh, expression. And those people who wanted to be or had to be, let's say, soldiers, found themselves very inspired because his magnetism was so greatly developed. Now, if you want to develop any one of those or an infinity of different other kinds, whether it be in business or military or uh, banking or music or art or anything, mix with people who have developed that kind of magnetism themselves and mix with deep concentration. And you will find that in that mixing, there's sort of a chemistry that happens. You begin to acquire their magnetism. Now remember that to acquire the magnetism of another is altogether different from being influenced in the sense of being taken over. You see, when a bar of steel is not magnetized, what you have is molecules that are turned in many different directions, a random uh, assortment of directions. And in effect, therefore, they are different kinds of north-south pole polarity uh, cancels, they cancel each other out. But if you can bring another magnet in conjunction, uh, close conjunction to that one, that bar of steel, its influence turns all those uh, molecules in a north-south direction so that the bar of steel suddenly is able to express its own latent magnetism. Now what we're talking about is not the imposition of somebody else's energy on your own. What we're really talking about is getting your own energies flowing in such a way that they don't cancel each other out. And in their unidirectional focus, suddenly they manifest a kind of magnetism that's inherent in you. So that even if you have drawn your magnetism from another artist, let's say, and gotten in tune with the uh, magnetism of artistry or of music or of business, what you will find is that you will develop your own nature, you will apply your own nature to that kind of expression, and it will be uniquely your own. So remember the magnetism that we are talking about, unlike the hypnotic kind of influence, which uh, imposes the vibrations, magnetism, attitudes, tastes, and everything on the passive recipient. The kind of leadership that I'm talking about is not hypnotic. And the kind of influence that I'm urging you to develop, again, is an uplifting and an inspiring kind of thing that draws the best out of other people, or to turn it back to where we were before, that draws the best out of you by helping you to rise to the occasion with your own willpower, your own inner inspiration, your own natural vibrations or character, whatever your personality and your individual, your unique nature, and will make you express that magnetism in a fresh and new way. But the first thing that we've got to talk about is how to develop that magnetism so that you can direct through that influence of magnetism all your energies in a single direction toward whatever goal it is that you are trying to accomplish.